Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm just gonna get right back into it. I think when we left off, we were about to ask the ditch man for some assistance. Still a wonderful rainy night at the mall. Love it. All right, paw paw. We, we need your boat. Oh. His face is pure glee. How wonderful, a boat ride into John's fucking skull. We'll live inside it. Calm down, keep your distance, lower your voice. We need the boat, not you. The mall, the mall, John's skull, John's skull. The boat is just a little further down the canal. Let's go and visit the sanctum of the Garrets. Up, up. Oh, back to K. Oh, okay, yeah. Man, that would have been a good place to stop at the last video, wouldn't it? <laughs> so we were about to go into Shield. Mm, I don't want to do the freight elevator yet. I think we'd better go in the guardhouse. An instruction manual for the operation of Shield's railroad crane network. Uh oh, I smell a puzzle coming on. Wanted poster hangs on the wall. Wanted Drone Fleet Captain's son, A-19, commonly known as Drone Priest, is missing and considered armed and dangerous. Hmm. Contact Shield Community Dispatch if sighted. Do not approach. Drone Priest, huh? Another new character. What's this? The center security monitor displays the Good Hope Cemetery, raised tomb surrounded on all sides by refinery architecture. Oh, they're all different. Left security monitor displays a freight elevator. The right security monitor displays a freight moving robot hanging limp from a crane. Hmm. Maybe Lucky would like to cause some havoc with that. Map of Shield Security Zone A is displayed on the monitor. Yes. Can I... Interest guard house freight elevator. Mm -hmm. okay. Good Hope Plantation. The command line terminal sits open on the computer's desktop. I don't know what command to type in, so instead of setting off any alarms, I think I'll just leave right now. Anything in the manual? Oh, wait a minute. Instruction we have to network. Yes. Click on that. Open the book. You read from the manual. Shield's railroad crane can be operated from a safe distance using control panels located at various points around the facility. Each crane is labeled mm -hmm. with a unique identification number. So I'm probably gonna have to get the number, come back mm -hmm. in here and do some playing around. To operate a crane, enter the prefix code 2914 followed by the crane ID. Cool, thanks. Nothing else. Okay. All right, let's go to the crane. Now that we're in, take a look at what Lucy's got. The man crashes down, opens his backpack, and reveals two grenades. Now that we're in, take a look at what Lucky's got. The man crashes down, opens his backpack, and reveals two grenades. Got these from a guy at the burger place. Lucky Dunn played with bigger grenades than this. These more like little toys. Loud as it is around here, they ain't likely to make much of a ruckus. If we get into any more scuffles, they might be handy, but we best be choosy. Only got us the two. He zips his backpack, tips his hat, and smiles. <laughs> There'll be no use against the St. Clair models that guard Good Hope Plantation. Well, sure, them guards not your average type. We'll need to find some other way to get rid of them. What do you suggest? I gotta say, there's that big bastard hanging from a railroad crane over there. A freight mover, a robot just like you. Might be your partner. Let's go talk with it. 
A mover has no agency. Now you know. Thought you wasn't a Sinclair. You come up with something better, lucky all ears. Till then, you go with his gut. <laughs> Lucky done got help from all kinds of robots. The two men watched the monitor display above the freight elevator. So what this is, are they making us go to space now? Imagine the overtime you'd get, bruh. Not to mention the hazard pay. Shit, I wish you could be like one of them old timers and retire on workman's comp. Yeah, careful what you wish for. You know them old guys just playing up for the news. They bump their heads, tie in their shoe, and get a paid vacation. Give me a break. You knew any of the ones that died in the blast? Yeah, I knew a couple. Blue, Wiki, good guys. Wiki weren't on the plant in two weeks. This work no joke. Bruh. Bruh. Somebody gotta do it. People wanna drive around, eat their microwave dinners, all that shit. You don't come free. Somebody gotta make it. Just open ain't us next time. Keep your eyes and ears open. The ones that get hurt ain't paying attention. Listen to him. Is this the same thing? How do you think that party's going over at HQ? Hmm. I saw inside one of them parties one time. Don't want to think about it. What was it like? Eyes wide shut? Party? <laughs> I'll tell you when you're older. Yes, I was correct. Good Hope Plantation. That's headquarters right that way. Yeah, we don't want to go over there yet. Huh. Montage and fulls in the display. Laptops, satellites, fiber optic cables. A diverse, smiling workforce. A stock voice narrates. Shield's commitment to sustainability is built into our business model and code of conduct. To protect our planet's ecosystem, Shield leverages informatics and machine learning to harness extra planetary resources such as magnified solar energy and astral ore. Our priority is the safety of our workers and the integrity of wetlands and other natural habitats across the planet. Shield, a greener world awaits. Yeah, bullshit. What's this? Hard hatch required. The door to the crane platform is locked. We need to disable security to get through. Okay, well. The freight elevator is locked. Whoa, creepy. Are we prepared for another confrontation? Low down. Like you're gonna tell you right now, getting past these boys is no joke. This ain't contract boss like you see in the entrance. We gotta cause us a distraction. They don't keep much security on site at this hour. We make a ruckus that might be enough to clear the area. That's Lucky's advice. A distraction? Unless you got some better idea. Lucky he'll fight, but it won't be no cakewalk. Leave. You just saved us a whooping. <laughs> yes, I did, Lucky. Nothing else I can see. All right. Okay, okay. So, green code. How do you think it's going to reach Q? There's nothing here, right? How do you think? Yeah, same, same, same thing. Okay. We can't get back here. The door's locked to platform. Go back. Type in a command. Security status. Security status authenticated. Freight elevator lock engaged. Drone bay lock engaged. Type a command. Disengage. 
Freight elevator lock disengaged. Drone bay lock disengaged. Okay, well that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> In we go. What's this? Wires drift in the wind above the catwalk. Your eyes follow them upward to a large freight mover hanging from a railroad crane. Zero one six. Speak. You shout towards the machine to get its attention, but it remains unresponsive. Million. Whoa. Well, million emits a high frequency whine. Silence follows. A voice swells from the sky as the mover begins to speak. You will dive into the water, and the depth will become the surface. The breeze will change the shape of the flame, and the flame will be as boundless as the territory that it lights. Hey buddy, keep it down. It ain't time to make a ruckus yet. You will find in the water not only flames, but whole hurricanes. There will be patterns of light that form the shape of the old bayous where those who killed for freedom still hide. Is this like a, a poem or something? Rattling cages on the track and whispering at the pond, perhaps the pond will whisper back. That ground, that soil, those bloody days. The lights of the lanterns became this very flame. Be straight with me. You gonna help us out or not? You will find the old pole boat where the ghosts still hide their eyes. They are mall eyes and ditch eyes and bayou eyes. There are eagle eyes and duck eyes and cardinal eyes. There are Johnny's eyes and there are your eyes. And your eyes are the refinery eyes. Guess I was wrong to think this would be any help. What's that number on its chest? Mm -hmm. Remember that, all right? That's the identification number for the crane it's hanging on. That's how they do it around here. Let's go find the controls. Drop this goofy bastard right on the guards. Wouldn't that be a hoot? Yes. Yes, it would, Lucky. I am down to climb. Manual shields, railroad cranes. Uh, each crane's mm -hmm. zero one six. Right to operate the crane, enter the prefix code two nine one four zero one six. Two nine one four zero one six. Where do I enter that? Manual override confirmed. Startup sequence initiated. Please enter a movement path code. What now? Uh... Movement path accepted. Sure. Hold up, where's that thing going? I believe it's determined by the movement code you just entered. I punched in whatever came to mind, but this ain't the direction I don't... <laughs> seems to be slowing down. Surely it'll stop before it reaches the flame. Oop, sorry, buddy. Oh, boy. They wouldn't have a code that sends the damn thing straight into a gas flare. Oh, dear Lord Jesus Christ. Right into the gas flare. Oh, my. That thing rambled a bit, but I wasn't trying to kill it. You set out to cause a distraction. This most certainly qualifies. Guess that's what happens when you talk your poetry to old Lucky. Let's hope the explosion drew a few guards away from the headquarters. If this don't do it, then nothing will. Wait, y'all hear something? Alright. Oh, hello. Hey, is that the drone priest? Can anybody tell me if this thing's hostile? They can't decommission me. They'll never decommission the drone priest, baby! Baby! 
The drone priest is going to kill you. No, no. Gone, gone forever. This old refiner's a damn clown show. Come, my little ones, let's dance. What? I don't... Priest. What in the good Lord's name? Sorry, buddy. We could have been friends. Mm hmm. Let's go check it out. Look it. No guards. Guess Lucky was right. Guess you were lucky. That's not good. Doorman. Such splendid attire. You have chosen vagabonds of the highway as your guides. Fitting finery for this pageant of the Epiphany and the Ashes. Beyond these doors, the masquerade of the refinery flame. In such likeness, a shadow in opposition is cast. That which is low shall rise. The swamps become mountains. The earth a ceiling of the sky. The path is straight for the wayward. The thieves are gift givers, and the flame is the providence of the mind. I didn't know what to expect, but sure as hell weren't this. Don't attract attention. Let's move along. <laughs> Let's move along. Okay, moving along. Creep. With his eyes wide shut. Damn. You came to the one last year? When they lit the Nutria on fire? Nutria? Isn't that a, an animal? Yeah, they say Thomas St. Clair shows up every year. He might be here tonight. There's just no way to know with all the costumes. That's why his daughter didn't show. She's probably up there in the office drinking alone. There's too much bad energy here. I saw online there's a party in the lake tonight. Might bail early to check it out. Party in the lake, huh? An improvised dance performance plays across the stage. The dancers periodically pause in their motion and eye the crowd with exaggerated looks of disgust. One is dressed in a maroon robe, another a feathered cape. Yeah, move along. I can talk to some of these guys. The sun and the minotaur watch crowds flow in and out of the lobby. A man wearing a golden crown gesticulates drunkenly while those around him back away in embarrassment or attempt to calm him. History isn't created by the, the, the sympathetic, the soft-hearted, no. Why bend to the will of the weak? Huh? Huh? Jesus Christ, dude. Why punish those who carry passion and virtue in their hearts? Power is the very essence of life. Power, not compassion or goodwill, or any stuff like that. That's great, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. Garrett, I'm a Garrett now. How many times do I have to say it? I'm not calling you by your cult name. It's not a cult. Definitely is. Says anyone in this place. It's a place for visionaries to thrive, and tonight we'll leave this world. Yeah, I saw Keener John bragging about that online. Godspeed. That toy rocket's going to explode before it leaves the ground. The engine is sound. I'm helping to launch it. 
You're blitzed. You couldn't even walk a straight line. Keep it up. You can only hide your jealousy for so long. You think I'm jealous that you joined a cult? <laughs> Not that. You know what I'm talking about. The CEO chose me as assistant director. You wanted it. You wanted it so bad. But I still possess the confidence to leave it behind, to take a leap of faith. Bruce, we all know you've got daddy issues. Why don't you go hug your little stuffed monkey and cry about it? Oh, this is the guy from the garage. I didn't get the recorder. Hmm. Hmm. Weak-minded reject, you're too pathetic to understand. Excuse me? You're only humiliating yourself. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll talk to the crow. Or bird head, sorry. There are many currents of deceit and mistrust coursing through the room tonight. Some wear masks to speak truthfully without fear of reprisal. Others wear masks to further deceive. Laura St. Clair, the regional CEO, is unwell. That's why she doesn't join us tonight. She was once the darling of the pageant, but no more. Her power is slipping. She's at odds with her father on one side and the board on the other. Why is Laura at odds with her father? They seek the same thing, but for different reasons. There's a technology of unknown origins that has made this region its home. Laura believes that it holds the key to powering a mining fleet that can travel great distances for the purpose of gathering ore. It is her final bid to move S.H.I.E.L.D. away from Earth extraction. Her father, Thomas St. Clair, hopes to block his daughter's discovery of this elusive technology and to intercept it for his own designs. He is a man without a face. He will never see Thomas St. Clair, but his eyes are everywhere that he wishes them to be. They are here tonight, behind several of these masks. Perhaps closer than you realize. You? You, buddy? I'm sorry, why is Laura at odds with the board? She has pursued a mystical, invisible device against every wish of the board, inflating the operation's budget in order to siphon money towards her zealous mission. She believes that if she can secure this technology, the board will forgive her her many transgressions. I am in a position to know that she is mistaken. It's too late for her. A coup is already underway. It has only taken this long because they hoped her spiraling madness would drive her to suicide. Wow. I fear the wrath of her father with whom S.H.I.E.L.D. holds many profitable contracts. Belor's self-destruction may prove too costly in the end. What is this technology you're talking about? A vessel of light that has remained hidden in the lake for decades? A visitor from a distant star? A hoax? An angel? A material weapon? A drone? Distortion created by gases combusting in the swamp? No one has been able to capture the specimen or even verify its existence. Laura becomes more irate with each proposed theory. She grows darker by the day, and the device escapes her reach at every turn. Cool, thanks, Birdhead. Go close and I can talk to him. Talk to him. Keith smokes a cigarette while watching the pageant. Hey, Keith, what are you doing, buddy? You made it after all. Lot to take in, huh? How'd you get through? How'd you get through? Called my buddy, has security around here. Told me to come on down. Why didn't you mention this at the bar? Put my mind. Been thinking about what to call my website since I left the bar. Finally settled on name. You ready? Keith's Corner. How do you like that? <laughs> the executives, the landlords, the so-called philanthropists, they'll be cornered in Keith's Corner. Very clever, Keith. Want the website to look like a boxing ring. Want the logo to have boxing gloves in it. Might even do some live streams. Pretty cool idea. Yeah, you'll end up on Coast to Coast too, buddy. A dance performance, dance front of the cape. Approach the stage. You make your way towards the stage. Um... 
Are other people mimicking the dance too? You begin to mirror the unnatural contortions of the performers as they crab walk across the stage. Other spectators dodge you or give you a stare as you graze the backs of their legs. The onstage performers notice your mimicry. They stop their movement with a severe look of disapproval. You stop as well and meet their expressions. One of the performers raises his hand to you. Feathered cap. The shadow! You raise your hand in kind. The try hard. The performer gives you the middle finger and turns away. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Can I do it again? No, darn it. Okay. Maybe this is a good place to stop. It was a quick 30 minute deal tonight, but uh, yeah, let's end it here. And then next time we'll see what's going on, what's behind the elevator. Curious if I can maybe get a second chance with the dancers because there's definitely a secret there or something. Maybe there's a script I can find later on. Hmm. Oh, well. Hey, thanks everybody for watching the video. Leave a like, leave a dislike if you feel like it, or leave a comment. Let me know that you're out there. Thanks everyone.